going. Here's a quick review of the Hyperlite Ultimate 4 and Ultimate 2. If you're like me, you're trying to compare the two of them online, it's not easy to see the differences and make a good decision. This is the 4 here. You can see I'm 5'11", this is a little bit taller. That's the main obvious difference is one is a little bit larger than the other one. For me, this really suits two guys plus gear with still plenty of room. I've got a Seek Outside Cimarron pole that I'm using in the center. The Hyperlite poles have been sold out. I don't think this is a bad option. You don't have a lot of adjustability left in this one, but with the rock or a little creativity, I think that would be fine. A couple of the things I really like about this TP, obviously the weight is a huge advantage. Um, having an ultralight setup that you can put up very quickly, even if you just got the four points out there, easy to put this up in the dark. Uh, one of the things that I would say is a slight disadvantage, it's a pretty big footprint. You're going to need a pretty big level spot to set this out. I do like the, the larger size in the four for that too though. If you had a spot that's not that level, you have a little bit more room to work with. Um, that's a real personal preference. The door in the center, you can see that this opens up very big for ventilation. It's, it's uh, pretty nice when you have warmer weather or mild weather. You may not want to have that closed down. I think that's a great feature. This is a very nice TP. You can see if he's standing inside here, I have plenty of room to come out of my bed, standing up, change my clothes. Easy for me to move around in here. For two people plus gear, it's a palace. Let's move over to the two. This is super lightweight, portable emergency setup. It's great for a lot of situations. I'm usually using these as a floorless shelter. I think it's a step up from a tarp. I think it's really a, kind of a bomb-proof shelter, a very portable, super lightweight. In this case, I have a Helinox cot in here so you can kind of judge the scale of this. If you were by yourself with your gear, it would be a ton of room. With two guys, plus gear, it would be a little bit tight. Um, in this case, you can see I've put it up with a couple of trekking poles lashed together. If you only just used one trekking pole in a rock, you could still probably do it. On the downside, you want to have a TP, you're looking for a little more space and portability. In this case, you don't really have the headroom that you do on a four. I can come out of my cot without crawling out like a normal tent, but I really can't easily be standing in here to change clothes, um, anything like that. Basically, I can still come out without crawling versus, say, a normal tent where I come out of bed on my hands and knees. I'd say this is a step up from that, but it really doesn't have the room of the four. I think that's about it. So happy hunting.